Welcome back to Hip Hop Urban Pop. Today we're going to be talking about forgotten girl groups of the 90s and 2000s. Back in the 90s and 2000s, also known as the Golden Age of Music Groups, there were hundreds and thousands of groups trying to make their mark in the music industry. While some excelled and rose to the top, others had short runs. With just one or two hit songs, they got a small taste of fame before fading away. The rest, we don't even remember at all. This list features the girl groups that had their 15 minutes in the spotlight before fading away and becoming a distant memory from back in the day. Let's get into it. Number 21, Nobody's Angel. I'm Sarah Smith. Alitza. Amy Sue. Stacey. We're Nobody's Angel. Nobody's Angel was formed in 1998. The members formed the group after sharing stories about their failed auditions in Los Angeles. Their name, Nobody's Angel, was inspired by the 70s TV series, Charlie's Angels. The group quickly earned a spot on the soundtrack for the 1998 remake of the movie, The Parent Trap, by re-recording the song, Let's Get Together. They also made TV guest appearances on Boy Meets World and the ABC TV movie, Model Behavior. On November 23rd of 1999, Nobody's Angels released their debut single, If You Wanna Dance. The single mostly received positive feedback and was described as friendly bubblegum pop, while some others stated that the group gave them wannabe Spice Girls vibes. The single peaked at number 39 on Billboard's Dance Club songs, staying there for seven weeks. Nobody's Angels went on to make a few more appearances on the movie soundtracks for films like 102 Dalmatians, The Princess Diaries, and Pokemon the Movie 2000. Their debut album, self-titled Nobody's Angel, was released on February 1st, 2000. The album was promoted by performing as an opening act for AJ McLean during the Polaroid iZone camera tour. The album peaked at number 184 on the Billboard 200 and number 9 on Billboard's Heat Seekers. They later released their second single, I Just Can't Help Myself, though it failed to chart on Billboard. By 2001, Stacey Harper and Amy Sue departed the group to pursue solo careers. They were then replaced by actress-singer Jenny Kwai and Ty Amber Hu, a former member of the 90s girl group, Girl. Since Nobody's Angel disbanded, Sarah continued her career as a dancer, appearing in music videos for Britney Spears and even touring with Paul McCartney. Sarah also explored acting and landed roles in Austin Powers' Goldmember, Big Bad Wolf, Scream 2, and The Open Door. Sarah is now married and has three sons and works as a dance coach. Stacey Harper has made appearances as a dancer in films such as Like Mike, Jiggly, Starsky and Hutch, and 13 Going on 30. Stacey is currently married with three daughters and works as a teacher. Amy Sue currently works in philanthropy and community foundations. She has also performed in a number of musicals. Amy Sue is currently married with two sons. Allie is still releasing music under the name Twinkle Time, which is a bilingual pop artist for children. Number 20, Girl. Girl was formed in 1991 by members Miyoko, Jamila, and Paulette Maxwell. The sisters, Jamila and Miyoko, met Paulette in a dance class and the three decided to form a group. Jamila and Miyoko also were featured in the Prince music video for Diamonds and Pearls in 1991. By 1994, Girl had begun touring with Immature and also served as their background dancers. The girls also made cameos in several of their music videos. In 1995, Girl released their debut single, Play Another Slow Jam. The song peaked at number 74 on Billboard's Hot R&B Singles Chart. Soon after, Paulette left the group. 
In 1997, two new members were added to the group, Glorica Janae Briley and Ty Amber Who. Girl then released their second single, Get Your Groove On, which was featured in the film Baps. The single peaked at number 91 on the Billboard Hot 100 and number 30 on the U.S. Hot R&B Singles Chart. What you gonna do, what you gonna say, when the comes Soon after this, sadly, the group disbanded. Paulette appeared as a dancer on the UPN show One on One and composed a show for the CW UPN. She also founded and is the CEO of her own company called Creation Soul Productions. In 2000, Paulette was a member of another R&B girl group called Isis, but quickly departed before the group was fully established. Then in 2001, she gave birth to her son. Miyoko, who had also worked as a stylist in the past, made several appearances in different music videos. These days, she enjoys spending time with her family. Ty Amber Who went on to join the girl group Nobody's Angel and later continued her career as a dancer. Glorica went on to become a licensed nail technician. In 2005, Jamila joined another girl group called Dame Four, which later disbanded after releasing their first single, How We Roll. Jamila later signed a deal with Universal Motown where she recorded her first album, but it was never officially released. By 2012, Jamila was releasing popular mixtapes that helped create a buzz around her name. She also went by the name Mila J. In 2014, Mila J officially released her debut single, Smoke, Drink, and Break Up, followed by My Main, featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Mila J is still releasing music and projects to this day. Number 19, Honeys. Honeys was a British girl group formed in 1997. The group was originally a duo called Essence with members Heavenly Denton and Selena Cherry. In 1997, Naima Belkhady joined in turning the group into a trio and they were officially known as Honeys. Honeys was intended to be an R&B alternative to the Spice Girls and a direct rival to Destiny's Child. On August 24th of 1998, Honeys released their debut single, Finally Found. The song went gold, peaking at number four on the UK singles chart and number one on the UK R&B chart. The follow-up single, End of the Line, peaked at number five on the UK singles chart and number one on the UK R&B singles chart. On October 31st, 1998, Honeys released their debut album, Wonder 8. The album peaked at number 44 on the UK albums chart. Honeys was featured on the French release of Foxy Brown's single, Job, while R&B singer Maya was featured on the album version. In 1999, Honeys traveled to the U.S. and signed a record deal with Def Jam Records. Def Jam loved them and planned to make them a huge sensation in the States. Unfortunately, not long after the promotional tour in Australia, Heavenly Denton decided to leave the group. This caused Def Jam to drop Honeys, and just like that, their hopes of making it big in the States dissipated. Heavenly was later replaced by Mariama Goodman, a former member of the girl group Solid Harmony. Honeys then re-released their album Wonder 8 in November of 1999, which included two new singles with vocals from the new member. In 2000, their new single, Not Even Gonna Trip, was used for the Nutty Professor soundtrack. During the promotion for this single, Mariama Goodman announced her departure from the group. After this, management decided to bring Heavenly Denton back to the group. Upon returning, Heavenly recorded new vocals for the single, Not Even Gonna Trip. The announcement of the new reunited lineup was made on ITV's flagship children's programs, SMTV Live and CD UK. By late 2001, Honeys had released a third single from their upcoming album, Talk to the Hand. But due to the previous two singles performing poorly, Mercury Records decided to drop Honeys and plans to release their upcoming album, Harmony, were canceled. Following this, their management team decided to depart completely and the group officially disbanded in December of 2001. In 2005, Honeys reunited for a singing contest called Hit Me Baby One More Time. 
With fresh momentum in the air, the group considered going on tour, but Naima was not interested in participating. At the time, she really wanted to focus on her acting career. Honey still went on tour with Selena's sister Candace as Naima's replacement. In August of 2006, Heavenly Denton left the group once again and was yet again replaced with Mariama Goodman. They toured together until 2009. In 2013, Selena, Heavenly, and Mariama appeared in an episode of The Big Reunion. Heavenly Denton is now married with four children and lives in Portugal. She has a BA honors degree in ceramic designs and is also a certified aerobics instructor. Naima became an actress and made appearances in films like The Petersburg Canes Express, Alien Autopsy, and Heroes and Villains. Mariama is now married and has two children. She also has a first class honors degree and is working as a midwife. In 2018, Selena auditioned for Britain's Got Talent with her husband. One of the judges on the show was Alicia Dixon, a member from fellow UK girl group Miss Teague. She has also released solo music over the years and performed with Mariama as Honeys in 2019. There we go. There we go. What's up? Selena is currently married with two children. Number 18, PYT. PYT was formed in 1998. The group was made up of four teenage girls who were childhood friends from Tampa, Florida. I'm Tracy and I'm 14 years old. I'm Lydia and I'm 15 years old. I'm Ashley and I'm 15 years old. I'm Lauren and I'm 15 years old. During the early days of the group, when they were named Glory, they decided to record a demo instead of going with their original plan to enter a talent contest for Teen People magazine. That demo made it all the way to Dave McPherson of Epic Records. The girls were soon signed and the group's name was changed to PYT, a nod to the classic Michael Jackson song. It was originally planned for their first single, Something More Beautiful, to be more of a bubblegum pop ballad. But due to hip hop and R&B leading pop culture at the time, the single was changed to a song called Down With Me. It was a mid-tempo song with a heavy urban pop and R&B influence. The song emulates the likes of 702's Where My Girls At and was reminiscent of singers like Maya and Janet Jackson. In hopes of marketing them to a more urban audience, the group shot an energetic dance video to match their urban pop sound. Epic Records was still on a mission to push PYT as an urban pop group. They even went on to cover R&B classics like In Vogue's Who's Loving You rendition and I Like The Way, The Kissing Game by High Five. To promote their single, PYT toured with NSYNC and Britney Spears, but sadly, once again, the single was changed. The label decided to take it a step further with the whole urban pop R&B market and changed the single to a remixed version of their song, Same Old, Same Old. This song was a sample of Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. Epic Records was sure that the new Y2K ghetto pop single Same Old Same Old would solidify PYT. The music video even included cameos from Janae Iko and Little J, aka Devin Carter from That's So Raven. The single was also co-written by Christina Milian, and to give it even more hip hop essence, featured a verse by the rapper Sarai. The same old games and the same old lies. The I'm sorry, babies in the lane. Sarai, who Epic Records at the time dubs as feminine. Unfortunately, this did not help the girls break into the popular urban market. Your love had me blind like Stevie, you made me wonder. Was it the love can't spell, you had me under. Epic Records made one final attempt by getting PYT a spot on tour with acts like 98 Degrees and Destiny's Child. Their debut album, PYT Down With Me, was released on June 19, 2001. 
but unfortunately soon after this, PYT was dropped from Epic Records. There were rumors that the lead singer Ashley Niven was being approached about a solo deal, but she decided to continue on with the group. After months of trying to find a new label, the group eventually disbanded in early 2002. After PYT disbanded, Lauren and Lydia Bell joined a new group called Turning Point, but it soon disbanded as well. Y'all sang a little bit of each, but normally I get to sing the high harmonies. Uh, These days, Lydia has been pretty low key for the most part and now pursues theater and jazz music. And the alto, or I sing some of the melodies. Can't believe you let me keep telling me she's history. Why does she keep calling me and pitching me and bugging me? She's before PYT, Lauren worked as a child actress starring in the PBS show Reppies and also had a role in the soap opera Guiding Light. Over the years, Lauren has appeared in films like Raise Your Voice, American Pie Presents Bandcamp, and Ashley, and on TV shows such as Law & Order, CSI, Joan of Arcadia, Dexter, and more. Lauren also worked as a ring announcer for WWE in 2009. She is now a DJ and is releasing solo music with her latest single, Going Out. Melodies and low harmonies. In 2003, Tracy joined UC3, a girl group created and funded by Hooters. They toured all over performing at Hooters across the country and other special events. The group split up not too long after. After signing with Universal in 2007, Tracy began releasing solo music, including a single called Instant Gratification and another called Diva in 2008. These days, Tracy is happily married with children. Mainly I sing high harmony melody. Amid the disbandment of PYT, there were rumors of Ashley being offered a solo deal. However, when PYT couldn't find another label that would sign them, Ashley decided to go back to high school and then college. After visiting friends in Colorado, Ashley fell in love with the state and decided to move there. While living there, she sang with local bands all over Colorado. She took some time off, but later, after years of not doing music, she found her love for it all over again while participating in jam sessions with some of her friends. After creating a place for herself in the state of Colorado and in their music scene, Ashley has been singing with the band Tiger Party since 2013.